Nigel, I want to explore this new LR range from XYZ. Can you tell us why you introduced these models? Well, we've been boxed way on all our VMCs for a long time, and uh, all of our competition are using linear rails, so we thought we'd better join them. We know that it's a, a cheaper way of building a machine, but with modern technology where they're uh, using, taking lighter cuts with um, faster speeds, it's ideal, and so we've joined the Merry Band. So with this range, is there a compromise, though, Nigel, in this machine compared to your other models? No, I don't think there's a compromise. I think modern machining techniques mean lighter cuts at higher speeds. Um, I've been old-fashioned, and um, I'm 56 years old, and I've been told when I was an apprentice that box weighs heavier casting as you can is the best way to go. But everybody else has fit in linear rails, so we've, we're the last people with linear rails. But that is fundamentally one of the, the, the major but only sort of differences because you've still got the cast base on this machine, haven't you? Yeah, it's a complete casting, um, been di dynamically designed to uh, be analysed so that we can get the best out of the casting that we can. Um, yeah, it's a good machine. And with linear rails, you often, te often tend to find the, the machines and the motions are faster. Has this got faster acceleration, for example, than some of your other models? Yeah, yes, it's faster acceleration because you've got less friction than you have with a boxway. And um, yeah, it's a faster accelerating machine. And uh, it's really good value for people who want a new VMC. Well, th this is key really, because one of the reasons behind the, the you bringing this model to market is to, to give you two options, a lower cost option. So what would be the difference percentage wise between your other models and the LR, if you're looking at, let's say for example, a meter machine? Well, it's probably about 20%, so it's significant. That is, that is pretty significant. Yeah. And when you look at this machine, the options on it, you, you tell me earlier about the tool changes. Give, give us a little bit of an indication of some of the things that you can have with the machine. Well, well we can have, we've got an option of a 24 station arm type ch change off. It comes standard with a 20 station uh, carousel style. A lot of people don't need the speed of a, of a tool change off. You know, it's only a few seconds and it's men that cost money, not machine tools. Okay, and then what about the control as well? I note the Siemens control. You, you've made some changes to what you're offering as the package. Here we've got the Siemens 828, I believe. Yeah, this is an 828, the same control that we've got on our, um, our regular heavy-duty range of machines that we've been selling for years. But there are a few options on the software. And um, we found that customers have come to XYZ, had a demo, seen a wonderful demonstration, loved the control, and then gone to another supplier, bought the machine because it was cheaper, only to find out when it's delivered, which is too late for us, that all the options are not there. So we've taken some options out of our standard control and, and we sell them as a, as a package. So again, we're reducing the cost. We sold three of them on the launch yesterday in, in Tiverton and none of them took the software option because they're using CAD CAM lots of people are now so you don't need them options so have you, you've valued engineered these machines in a lot of ways haven't you absolutely that we we've really looked at every way of taking cost out of the machine but still giving a good sound basic product that people can use and uh, and start manufacturing with and the reason behind this then it, were you losing business uh, in in this arena uh, which is which has brought you down this path to offer the two options maybe the heavier duty machine and the uh, the lighter machine too eager to go there uh, yeah we've um, we, we have we've been our competition have been selling machines for less money than us we've lost orders and so we're looking for them them orders to come to us also we're going to keep our heavy duty range because there are some people that have been buying them we've sold hundreds and hundreds thousands perhaps over the over the last 20 years and them customers we want to give them the same offering that they've had before but if they want to save money there we go, the LR. Okay, now with this as well, you've got three models here. Can you just tell us what these models are and if you can give us a very brief overview on each one, for example, okay. the 500, the speed, the size? Okay, well, the 500's got a 510 millimeter travel in X, the 750's got a 750 in, in X, and the 1000 LR has got a 1000 millimeters in X. So they're the three basic machines, they're the three, um, they're the three more significant sellers in the UK we believe. And what about your spindles on these? They're all 8,000 as standard with a 10,000 option and a 12,000 option. And with value engineering a machine what that often means is it doesn't come with many options. Can you have things on these machines for example fourth axis units, probing and those types of things? 
Yeah, you can have fourth axis probing, um, you can have a 10,000 RPM spindle or a 12,000 RPM spindle, swarf conveyor. We don't like the augers here, we get people tangling jobs up, but we do like the conveyors and that's what we offer. And finally, and this is my final question, if you sold 100 VMCs before today, now you've got this range of machines, will you still sell 100 but 50 of each or will you sell double the amount, do you think? Brilliant question. I think that what we'll see is a slight increase and if we sold 100 before, I think we'll sell 130 now and I think it'll probably be a fairly even split. Perhaps in a year from now you should come and ask me the question again. Good luck, look forward to it. Thank you Nigel. Cheers, thank you very much.